Hi there everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a motor testing video for those of us who like to fly slightly larger quads like this AOS 7. We're going to be looking at five different 7 inch motors of around a 2806.5 size and we're going to be seeing how they compare against each other, which ones are the best for your build and which ones you should definitely avoid. It's a lot to cover in one video so let's not waste any more time, let's dive right into it. All right, so before we dive into the test results, let me take you through the motors we've got here. Five different motors from four manufacturers, starting with the iFlight Zing 2 3106. This has a bit of a wider and a shorter stator than the other motors we're going to be looking at with a 1200 kV rating. It's got a unibel design and it's the heaviest motor that we're going to be looking at today. It weighs 59.3 grams with 7 inch wires. The next motor we're going to be looking at is the T-Motor F90 long range. This is a 1300 kV motor with a two-piece bell design and it's the lightest motor that we have on test. Today it's 45.9 grams with 7 inch wires. This is the Flyfish Flash 2806.5. It's a 1350 kV motor with a unibel design and it comes in middle of the road in terms of weight. It weighs 48.6 grams with 7 inch wires. The next motor is the iFlight Zing 2806.5. iFlight have been making this motor for a long time. It's a very popular motor in a standard 1300 kV and it weighs 50.8 grams with 7 inch wires. The final motor we're going to be looking at is the RC Empower Smooks 2806 Plus. This is a 2806.5 size motor, 1350 kV, and it weighs 50.7 grams with 7 inch wires, so almost exactly the same weight as the iFlight Zing. If you're a manufacturer and you'd like me to review your motors, or you're a pilot and you'd like a particular motor tested, you can get in touch with me, chris at aosrc.com, and we'll set it up. It won't cost you a thing and all the testing is non-destructive, so I'll even send the motor back to you once I'm done. Help me help the community by building this database out to be as complete as possible. The final thing to talk about is the prop, and I'm going to be using a 7x3.5x3 V1S prop from HQ, and this is a pretty typical type of prop that you would want to use on these 2806.5 motors. Before we carry on, a big thank you. This video is entirely sponsored by my patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to join us and support more independent test videos like this, looking at motors, props, ESCs, batteries, FPV video systems, and anything else I can get my hands on, then please consider joining for just a few dollars a month and you'll get access to a special layer of my Discord server, sneak peeks of products that I'm working on, and all of the test data from all of these testing videos. It really is great value and I'd love it if you'd join us. All the info you need is in the links down in the video description. The first thing to talk about is the KV of the motor. And KV is a really important parameter for motor performance because it dictates how much current, how many amps are required to generate a certain amount of torque, and also how the torque production of the motor varies with RPM. To measure KV, I spin the motor with no load at 10 volts and then divide the RPM that it achieves at full throttle by 10 to give the KV an RPM per volt. What we can see from these five motors is that there's quite a big range of KV and also quite a big range of difference between the stated KV and the KV under test. Looking at the iFlight Zing 2, that is stated as 1200 kV, but it actually measures out a lot lower, 1125 kV. Whereas the RC Empower Smooks, that is stated as 1350 kV and measures at 1355 kV, so almost exactly the same. Looking at the Zing and the Flyfish Flash, we can see that they both have almost exactly the same kV, 1280 kV, despite one being marked 1300 and the other 1350. So it's not always clear, just based on what's written on the motor, which of two motors are going to have the higher or lower KV. Measure KV can have a big impact on the thrust that a motor is able to produce for a given throttle setting. To measure thrust versus throttle, I ramp the motor from 10 to 100% throttle over 10 seconds with my standard 7x3.5x3 test prop, and I measure the thrust that the motor is able to produce. What we can see is that motor KV is very closely linked to thrust, with the motor with the lowest KV, the Zing 2 3106, having the least thrust at all throttle settings, and the RC Empower Smooks, which has the highest KV, producing the most thrust. What's interesting to see is that the Zing, the Flyfish Flash, and the T-Motor F90 all produce very similar levels of thrust across the whole throttle range. 
And in this case, the T-Motor F90 is coming out ahead simply because it's the lightest weight motor of those three. Zooming in just to look at maximum thrust on my seven inch test prop, we can see that there's quite a big range across all of these motors from 2.2 kilos with the Zing 23106 all the way up to 2.45 kilos for the RCM Power Smooks 2806 Plus. So if you're focused mainly on maximum performance, maximum thrust that you're gonna get out of this motor and prop combination, then it's definitely worth taking a look at this chart and maybe picking something like the RCM Power Smooks. If you're a long range pilot, you probably care more about motor efficiency than you do about the maximum thrust that a motor can achieve. And looking at this efficiency plot, you can see the efficiency of the motor over a range of mechanical power. And I flight rule the roost here in terms of efficiency. The Zing 2 3106 and Zing 2806.5 are the most efficient motors, with the Zing 2 achieving above 80% efficiency, which is really, really good for a motor on this type of test. With the RCM power motor, you can see the trade-off that they're making between performance and efficiency. The Smooks is only able to achieve about 75% efficiency. And that 5% difference between the best and worst motor is a minute of flight time if you're flying long range for 20 minutes. So it can make a big difference. Choosing the right motor is, is definitely important if you're looking to fly for the longest possible amount of time. All right, let's dive a little bit more deeply into the performance of these motors now by looking at their torque versus RPM curves. This data is collected by using the motor to accelerate a flywheel of a known mass from five to 15,000 RPM and measuring the torque that the motor is able to produce during that acceleration. By looking at the torque versus motor RPM, we can get a couple of different pieces of information. The first is by looking at the peak torque. So that's the maximum torque that the motor is able to produce at any RPM. And that gives us a good measure of the kind of maximum magnetic performance of the motor. We can see that the Zing 23106 has the lowest peak torque value. And I guess that's to be expected. It's got that wider and flatter stator. When you make a motor wider and shorter, the magnetic performance is not so good. Ideally, you want a motor that's quite tall for how wide it is, the limitation there being motor cooling. If we look at the T-Motor F90, we can see that, that that has really good magnetic performance. It's able to produce more than 0.325 newton meters of torque uh, at a maximum, at a peak. And that the other motors, the iFlight Zing, the Flyfish Flash, and the RC Power Smooks, are all very similar in terms of peak torque and therefore have similar magnetic performance. The second piece of information that we want to look at is the slope of the torque curve as the motor accelerates the flywheel. This is very much determined by KV, and we can see that motors with a similar KV have a similar fall off in torque with RPM, whereas motors with a higher KV have a shallower fall off, and motors with a lower KV a steeper one. Just looking at this helps to confirm what we should already know from the measured KV testing, but again, we see that the, uh, the three motors here, the F90, the Zing, and the Flyfish Flash, very similar KV uh, with the RCM Power Smooks significantly higher and the 3106 Zing 2 slightly lower. The torque that a motor can produce is really important for motor responsiveness. And the ability of the motor to control the larger props that you use on a seven inch, making sure they accelerate and decelerate really quickly, is important to help keep the quad stable in the air and help fight things like prop wash. Now, to measure responsiveness, I step the motor from 10 to 50% throttle and back again multiple times, and I measure the time it takes to accelerate and decelerate the prop each time, and then I average all the results together to give a number for acceleration and deceleration. Looking at a chart of motor responsiveness, the first thing to talk about is that FPV motors are able to accelerate a prop a lot faster than they're able to decelerate it. And that's simply because you can generate a larger magnetic field in the motor air gap by actively driving the stator coils. And so you get a bit more torque in acceleration than you get under braking. In general, all of these motors can achieve about 100,000 RPM per second in acceleration and about 70,000 RPM per second in braking with that seven inch test prop. And these results are maybe giving a slight advantage to the Flyfish Flash and the RCM Power Smooks in terms of motor responsiveness, with the Zing 23106 being the least responsive. And honestly, that's to be expected because that wider, flatter stator 
is giving you a bit more inertia, a little bit less torque maybe, so the motor ends up less responsive. And that brings us neatly to the summary scores. Here we can compare across all of the motors in terms of responsiveness, torque, thrust and efficiency. And more than that, we can look at how their performance compares to the weight of the motor. Obviously, it's no good having a motor that's very light if it doesn't give you the performance that you need. And conversely, it's no good having a motor that performs really well if it's really very, very heavy. What we're looking for is the best balance of performance versus weight. And on that front, the T-Motor F90 comes out slightly ahead of the others in this test. It offers good performance, but because the motor is very lightweight, the performance it offers per gram of motor weight is really excellent. Then we have the Flyfish Flash and the RCM Power Smooks. The RCM Power Smooks is overall the best performing motor, irrespective of weight, but it is a little bit heavier than the T-Motor F90, so that brings down its weight normalized score. And then we have the Zing 2806.5 and the Zing 23106. The 3106 performs acceptably well, but it's quite heavy. And so that drags down its weight normalized score significantly. And that brings us neatly to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And before you go, consider if you want to have a motor tested. If so, drop me a line, chris at aosrc.com and we'll set it up. That's all I have for you for today. So until next time, I wish you all very, very happy flying.